Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Seth. There's a video here today. I bring you guys another episode of Redesign Your Products where I take some projects and just put my own spin on them, make them better. Hopefully that's the play, but you know, that's the, the case here. But uh, yeah, let's see. Trust the process on this because I feel like as if there might be some scenarios where you might be like, this is really sh crappy at first, but trust me, we reel it back in. And of course, if you want to ever be a part of these episodes, go to my discord.gg.sfhq, go to the redesigning channel and uh, post your product with your PSD in there and you can probably be in the next episode. So with that being said, of course, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Leave a like if you guys do enjoy at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. Enjoy. Okay, it's time. Let's see what we got with Jaden Creates uh, project here. Now, your boy wants to kind of copy the same kind of ratio, so it's a little bit fair with the space he had. Cool. Now I got the same exact ratio. Let's say to ourselves, we're gonna take our Nintendo Switch here for a second. And we're gonna basically do what he did, but try to make it look more epic and fun in Mario-esque world. Um, the issue though is this red, it's so much, but I don't know what else to do. I think we just start off with the red and like start off with like putting some stuff in. Let's go and do that first. All right, so without a doubt, we need to make sure that this kind of feels very 3D yet in the 2D world. So this kind of ratio of Mario right now is a pretty good size. I even think we might even try to make some kind of like, uh, like jumping out of the jumping out of the game feeling right so if i go over here and when of course we need to take like a mario esque background picture right now when we drag it in here though we need to make sure of course we make sure there's no actual context of mario there because then it looks like a repeat like kind of weird and whatever now we also want to make sure that this image here is clipping mass just like so we take this part and we delete it on the bottom that way it kind of feels like he's on top of it right we're looking good so let's go ahead and make a new no, Another layer real quick, take a nice little black. This will be the shadow. We're gonna lower our opacity down, add in a shadow right on the foot. Okay, so I feel now this is where the hard part comes in. So if we're looking at this, we're like, okay, this homie takes up like 30% of our space. So what in the world are we gonna do next? I have no idea. So let's just take a Kirby, right? Uh, we're gonna take Kirby over here and we're just gonna say that it's not just Mario games, obviously on the Switch, there's more than just that. So we're gonna take a Kirby and kind of like put him over here as well. Make him like, you know, a part of the situation, right? We gotta invite him to that little brother that we always, or my little sister in this case, that, you know, just always wants to be a part of something. So let's say Kirby looks really good there. We can add shadows on Kirby later. But before that, the Splatoon character over here, we drag her in and let's just like throw her in the mix too. Let's throw her behind everything, right? Like behind it. Yeah, this face right here is literally the face of my sister my entire life growing up. So yeah. yeah. Reminiscent. So I think this might work if we can build a scenario where we put things in the foreground, let's say like in the in the section over here or over here, like that, like the what is it called? The the, the this thing, this box, right? We take this, throw some of these in the foreground for a second. Of course, the ratio of this one would need to be a little bit bigger, obviously, given the fact that if Mario's gonna hit it, it needs to be the somewhat size of Mario. Right, like that's how it would happen. Right, you like hit at the top. Yeah, that's what it goes. Bro, why am I forgetting this? I'm a, I'm a boomer, right? And then we're gonna throw in another box too. With this one, however, we're gonna take this and kind of just leave it in this scenario here. Maybe even like rotate it a little bit to give it more kind of you know like a sense of atmosphere that there's some kind of explosion esque appeal happening with this poster here. Now, one thing's for certain though, he has the Switch logo and the now. Oh, whoa, that typography. <laughs> We're gonna fix that for a second, but we have to put the price and the switch logo in here So we're gonna do that for a second right now making sure we of course have the identity of the actual reason of this poster in the first place Nice front and center one thing I actually recognize on Nintendo Switch's products is They have a lot of like in the top left corner in their video games So leave it in the corner right here and now for the price. I mean does anyone else feel this way? Do you not why just not make it 300? Right? Is there actually a psychological thing that makes like the two to three a big jump like seeing 299.99? We all know it's gonna be 300 after tax, bro. Like, what's the point? Like, imagine how clean it would look if it was just like, like just, oh, actually that looks terrible. <laughs> that actually does look way, for some reason, way more significantly expensive. Never mind. we're gonna stick it with, yup, mind. I lie. I see why they do that now. Okay, so one thing is for certain is we need a shadow on the actual switch if we're gonna keep this red background. Something like right on the bottom like this. I mean, lower the opacity down so it's not like too aggressive, but we just want the shadow to kind of be there. I think there might be a world where we take like the Mario sky or something like that and kind of make this like intrusive or not intrusive, but duality of like two worlds of like the, the, the advertisement world and then like the actual game world and having them fused together somehow 
if we can figure that out whatever that just happened to my brain that'd be kind of cool hear me out this is not like i think it might be too much mario right we got like a splatoon we got kirby we have mario maybe like you put like a zelda background in it or like what are some more nintendo games like we got animal crossing we got donkey kong metro uh hades sonic now with this sonic image and then replacing the actual sky right putting in the background we're starting to see a little bit of a world being created right i kind of okay also since we mentioned sonic maybe we can have sonic rings around the actual scenario too something like that right it's very random very sporadic but kind of makes this kind of also we can make our brains feel really nice if we just kind of like make it turn just like a little bit like that and like, like boom just like that move a little bit closer and then that kind of feels like it's kind of like almost grabbing something everywhere you look and there we have we kind of have a good ratio we got it okay 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 now with a quick cutout of this little quick little cute like animal crossing thing right we take this we're gonna cut this out just like so invert this turn it back on and now we're here and it... oh god let's also match some of these colors really quick so okay actually before that let's take this let's take our home girl give her a little 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 uh shadow on her feet so like now she's not standing on the abyss right she's kind of like a little bit of a shadow on her feet now and also let's go to match these blocks for anyone over there who has ocd and i forgot to do this apologies but now i'm doing it now can someone explain to me why i care enough to put this layer style on this just so i can match it a little bit closer i don't know but I do it for the video see what i i, I even i, I could have totally skip this part six and a half hours later okay so now i can drag this over here now that we match the colors a little bit do i want to add like maybe some more color to the actual characters like it's just quickly put in a saturation buff on this guy okay that did way more than i thought it would so i think it brings it to life a lot more oh the homie over here sonic is a little bit too small where i almost feel like relevance wise it's almost irrelevant to even have him there and almost a bit of a uh, an issue if he stays there right so now he's gone it's not that big of an issue there's a little bit of a, of a blur there but none of us will actually know if i didn't tell you so that's unfortunate now you're just with me and stuck with me in this ride maybe to make this uh, splatoon character feel a little bit more in tune with the actual composition we throw her above everything for a second then we cut her out only leave this part of her hair or like squid thing that way they kind of don't feel so separated right and then maybe like have kirby hanging on the <laughs> No, it's not fitting anymore. Is this what I want? That's kind of fun, right? It's almost like they're almost almost all holding hands. <gasps> oh, do I want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> that works though, right? We just do like that, and then like just you know, it's it makes sense. So like a little like a little it's like a little shadow. I'm holding on to you, and then a little shadow right under this Kirby right here, right? I'm holding on like boom like who says that doesn't make sense and low-key I like the placement of this box even more now under him because now it feels like he's actually hitting something and then now what if okay everything's starting to click okay okay so what if now when you hit it rings are falling out right now that actually looks pretty sick this box down here if I'm gonna be honest oh why'd i move it why did i move it why did i move it now i don't know if i want to keep it there or not i could literally sit here for the next 45 minutes turning this on and off and i still wouldn't know i think i'm gonna opt to get rid of it you know what we're gonna opt to get rid of it this is the, the hardest choice of my life right now so now i'm questioning though do i want to put a shadow under the bridge or on top of the bridge like right here like that little that little shadow might do the the composition justice it's not too heavy it's like kind of out of the way and like if you notice it you notice it. if you do notice it i feel like you might appreciate it So do I say that I'm done at this point? I'm not entirely sure. I feel like there's a little bit like, there's things I can definitely keep adding to just make it even more shiny and sparkly and fun. But I think the objective here is just to make a world where you kind of feel like if you buy this Nintendo Switch, you get this really cool world of just like, there are three most popular games or four most popular games like right in front of you, even like Animal Crossing, if for some reason this bridge is noticeable and like the world of Animal Crossing. But I think we did something cool here. So let's put uh, before and after from Jaden's concept and then my concept concept and hopefully you can see uh, basically i try to keep that idea of keeping that red in there i think we did something pretty cool there we kind of put together mario we kind of put together splatoon kirby sonic animal crossing put this into this one little world 
and I think it's kind of cool. I don't know. I think I'm done. I, there's so much I feel like I can do, but let's just leave it there. And you guys let me know if you guys think you've made an improvement or not, or what you would actually change or improve or put on or add on. You guys get the point. Next project. All right, guys. So for the next project designed by Amy is a Rocket League uh, Championship Series Stockholm Major, where basically she did a really good job of putting environment with video game, with players showcasing all of that. But I do think there's some hierarchy issues and or something we can actually work on and improve this. But honestly, it's a really dope concept there's not much i want to do but just want to see what it would do what i would do if i were to get this and feel like if they were to spice it up a little bit right so one thing i immediately noticed as well is like the acne on the players i do think acne is like this overall obvious thing of not preferable so i am going to remove some because of course you want the actual player to feel confident and when the player feels confident he's gonna probably play better right we're gonna go ahead and remove some of this acne to kind of start this off and then we'll focus on some other stuff we go like this just take a little bit of acne and just get rid of it you know, honestly, though, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to remove crazy amounts of it because obviously that's more like, you know, it, it's currently what he looks like. You don't want people to like be like all of a sudden like shiny face and then no acne at all. And then, of course, when you see him in person, he has probably acne. There's no like there's no I don't think there's like a right or a wrong of where you put the acne at. But I think getting rid of some of it is a, is a pretty good look. Honestly, just like that with a quick little before and after, you can still see the acne still present in itself, but it's a little more toned down and gives the player more confidence is a pretty good look. Right. So now I think we have to add some color here i think stockholm i think the overall environment of stockholm is like this dull rainy is it like kind of like always raining european i have no idea i want to go to europe one day but i feel as if the the graphic should have a little bit more weight in of color so i'm going to figure that out now right something like this just adding a little bit of purple in the background here and also keeping it still dull and like kind of like you know the the rainy vibe i guess i'm getting from the stockholm kind of environment right so it kind of looks pretty good here so working with this and then we'll see where we land on this part oh yes Daddy, don't put that in, Jay. I swear to God. <laughs> So now this purple, I think now I'm going to revisit some of these shadows here. Now I can do shadows kind of like, you know, actually placing the actual shadow, moving over the whole thing, lowering the opacity. I think I'm just going to add organic personal shadows, just like how I'm, how I want to do it. And then just kind of go from there and hope, right? So just a little bit of little, little shadow here, a little shadow there, something like that. Right. And then maybe even going behind these players and putting shadows in, uh, behind them too, just to add a little more depth, I guess. Right. I do like, it's a pretty good look. So immediately now my brain is telling me, I need to mess around with the color correction. So we're gonna do that real quick too, with a little camera raw filter, of course. Right, and with a little bit of color correction, just gives them more life and gives them more of like this prominent kind of just approach and very much so focusing on them. I think it looks pretty good. However, now it runs into the question of like, where do we go next besides making some of this stuff bigger up here real quick? See, now the mark kind of feels a little bit better on the top and now let's start shifting our focus on the bottom and uh, saying to ourselves, now what? Like, what is next? I almost think, uh, what is this by the way? Oh, it's a reflection. That is genius. Wait, what filter gallery is this? Ocean Ripple. Oh, that's pretty smart. Yo, Amy, you're kind of cracked for that one. Okay, that's, I didn't think about that. So really quick, we're, we're gonna keep that, I think. However, there is a bit of an issue where it is too much on the actual, um, how do you say, buildings here. So I'm gonna try to delete that off, right? Then there's like no way that it's actually on top of the mountains or whatever, or on in, in the foreground of the actual buildings, right? So now I'm gonna say to the buildings though, we're gonna take a duplicate nice little uh camera or smart object or go to camera off filter again and see what we can do see now even with a little bit of a gradient work and some color off filter this is looking pretty sick right we kind of feel like you have a lot more focus on the top half which is the players and the title which kind of mutes this bottom half part which was kind of like fighting with the hierarchy we're looking pretty good maybe like a little bit of tweaks on this car right here a little little like brightness or just kind of like tweaks of just light tweaks on the actual like lightning behind the cars and we're good honestly and just like that i think we are done so honestly I think I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And if we were to actually put out now before and after with Amy's concept and my concept that I just finished just now, you hopefully can kind of tell what I was talking about with hierarchy. I think the actual top half was a little bit too kind of like, uh, I guess too secondary focused. And the bottom half was also kind of like taking focus from the top half, which I think is not the right look. So if you look at it now, I think we have a pretty dope solid look. We kind of have the focus on the top with the color, the players feel more highlighted, looking a little bit more better in the sense of like making sure we pretty them up. And uh, that's, 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 that's final, I think. Might as well, should I add the little motion blur, little parts here was a little small, little beautiful touch. I think it looks pretty freaking dope. So with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. So of course, 
course, you guys would like to, of course, participate, go to discord.gd.sshq, go to redesigning channel and post your projects in there with your PSDs. And uh, maybe you're going to be in the next episode. So uh, yeah, with that, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. So HQ out. Now we got to keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking proud guys later. Much love, peace. And uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this video. So I hope you guys are too. Enjoy your day. Also, bro, my barber just had to mess this up, man. Does it make me look tough and cool? Like, urgh, urgh. <laughs>